What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. I just picked up some camera equipment and later on in this video, we're actually gonna dive into how much it costs me with all my camera gear, my lenses, my electronics that I use for this channel. And I'm gonna dive into that later in the video. I'm gonna put a timestamp right here. So if you wanna skip forward to that, if not, stay tuned for the whole vlog. I just got a 1635 2.8 Mark III lens for this camera, for recording in 4K today. So hopefully you guys enjoy this quality. Hopefully, hopefully it's really nice and sharp. How sharp am I? I want to come this way. Don't don't get, oh, get yeah. cut. How sharp I am, dude. Yeah, you look so sharp. So so sharp. sharp. Gallon jug because hydration. I'm trying to drink about a gallon and a half a day, roughly. Water's healthy, bro. I love water. I love. I love it. Man. I, I would think I would die without it. Today's gonna be a pool day, and. It's Monday, so I have a few business calls I'm gonna attend to, and we're gonna wait for Charlie to get here. So as soon as Charlie gets here in about 40-ish minutes, we're gonna hit the workout. It's gonna be a good one. We're six weeks and six days out from the competition. That's not a lot of time. What do we got, dude? Dude, these are samples. You guys have been asking for it, so we're doing it. Cutoffs, check that out. Nothing on the front, but look at the back. We got the stripe down the back. That panel, super sick. 3D logo, comes out of the shirt. Here I had Derek in the cutoff, and this is how we got the sample. But I actually think we should make it go all the way, like a lot more shoulder and a little bit of trap showing. So that's the difference right there. Comment down below what you guys would like. I think like a solid, was that 2.75 to three inches yeah. from the collar right there? Yeah. We, I don't really like this hem. I like more of like the straight ribbed like cut right there. But I think the back is collar. perfect. Let me see the back again. Yeah, that is sick with this panel. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop this one inch. So we'll drop that little meeting point one inch and that'll bring everything else down a little bit. All right, so you're well, welcome, well, ooh, that was, keep it going. Welcome to the commentary. Again, take you through the workout today. I only recorded one set per exercise, so I'm going to take you through it pretty quick. Number one, we used a mag bar, and we did four working sets of 12 reps on the lat pull down, and it's a close grip. The mag bar pretty much gives you more ergonomic grip. It feels a little more natural. It's a little bit easier to lift more weight, in my opinion. And so after four sets of 12, we moved on to the second movement, which again was using a mag bar on the CD cable row, a slightly wider grip. I do have three bars. I believe I have the close one, then this one I'm using here, and then a super wide one. So highly recommend checking out that, or if your gym has a mag bar, definitely use them. Uh, if you have it, maybe look at getting some and keeping them to yourself. I think they're really good. Now the third movement was a ch chest supported T-bar row. Now here kind of using like a pen lay style way of approaching this movement, meaning I am doing a dead stop at the bottom of every single uh, rep. You can see here, squeezing, coming all the way down, pausing and coming all the way up, pulling my elbow up as far as possible. Now that made everything way more difficult. I was only doing 145 and a 25 pound plate, going for sets of 12 on that. Fourth movement was a superset, so we did this pull down on the cable uh, with a fairly wide bar, one of the wavy bars, so pull down, superset with, meaning going immediately to the next movement, which was a cable row, or a uh, rope cable row right here. So I set the bar, or I set the cable up about knee level, a little higher than knee level, and just focus on pulling my elbows back, keeping my chest up and my butt back. And let's see what the next movement was. The next movement for this workout was some Sholly posing. See here, we are all, so myself, Sholly, Daniel, and Tim. Tim's not in this clip, but we are all seven weeks out from the competition. So this is us, man. This is us right now. There's a lot of work to do. I'm currently weighing in at like 176, 177 pounds. So meaning 
I think I'm gonna compete right at 168, 169. So what, like nine, 10 pounds, nine pounds to lose, and I think I'll be good. But there's my physique. I'm about to fly away. Look at look, look at the last right. Fly away. Fly away. Fly away. <laughs> Next movement was a bicep curl. We did all training bicep curl using 40 pounds. Uh, I did, I want to say like eight or 10 reps on each arm. And on the bicep curls recently, I've really been focused on keeping my shoulders retracted. So I'm like in this locked position and holding at the top, coming down slow, twisting as I'm bringing the dumbbell up. So I'm starting the neutral grip, twisting up. Moved on to a preacher curl cable which I don't do these often. And to be honest, I really didn't like this movement much. Max and I tried it and it tried to be different and it just didn't work. But I did two sets close, two grips wide and it didn't work. I just, I wasn't feeling it. You know, sometimes you just don't feel your muscle contracting. It doesn't feel right, but we still did our sets and did the best that we could. And the final bicep movement was a cable curl. So yeah, we were like, man, screw this plate, screw this Pretty sure we stood up and did cable curls, wide grip, and felt amazing. So here are like 12 to 15 reps. And lastly, a few sets of abs, knee raises, trying to twist my, my lower bite up. I'm trying to curl up and squeeze my abs. So, yeah, that's the update. That's the workout. Thank you for watching so far. Stay tuned so I can stay tuned for the vlog. Then we're going to go over the vlog setup in just a few minutes. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe. Go check out Max. We'll see you all later. some groceries and I, I am starving and instead of can, I could push my my, my my food back but I'm gonna try to stop doing that stop eating so late in the day so I'm listening to my body and I'm eating and I'm gonna, we're both gonna have a full container of Halo Top right now the whole container 8 grams of fat 48 grams of carbs 24 grams of protein you did that math in your head that fast yeah you're good at math, man. Thanks, man. So cheers to that. And it, it, it can't wait. It's got to be done now because we're that hungry. So, yes. Do what? Do you think people are going to judge if they walk by and we're snacking? Just two grown men eating ice cream in a Ferrari, dude. Nothing wrong with that. I haven't tried this oatmeal. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get it first. What is it? Oatmeal what? Oatmeal cookie. It's so good, bro. Holy crap. Yeah. Damn. That beats vanilla. Of the, course it beats the vanilla. The vanilla bean is good. I, some of them have a weird texture. This has a wow. Holy crap. Holy moly, dude. Holy moly. Just did 30 minutes of cardio. After cooking the entire Tupperware of chicken breasts and cooking three packets. Oh, there are, yeah. Oh, sweet potatoes. And we need to peel. What? We'll, we'll peel them. Good job. I guess you just eat the skin, right? Great. Fun fact, skin is the most nutrient part of the potato. It's got vitamins in there. If that's true, I'm eating the skin. My mom told me she's a liar. I don't think Max's mom's a liar. She's a nice lady. I'm about to go rinse off because I have a haircut. Then we're hanging out with the squad. As promised, I'm about to take you through all of my camera equipment, all the gear that I use to produce these videos for you guys. And keep in mind, before I show you any of this or talk about how expensive all this is, we like to push the limits and increase the quality and raise our bar every single month. We're always trying to do that. And so that does lead to buying more camera gear. So I'm gonna talk about my first, my setup that I actually use on a daily basis now. You guys may be curious, how much does that setup cost? So the setup that I'm vlogging with and I'm doing my own videos, Javon's not with me, Kelvin's not here, it's just me and my camera. I am using right now, let's go to the, let's go to the mirror. So that is a 16 to 35, 2.8 millimeter lens. The body, we've got the Canon 5D Mark IV. I'm using a Rode Pro, uh, Video Mic Pro. That is my primary setup, and the lens, we're looking at like 2100. Body, right at about 4000. Mic, 250. So about. Memory card. Memory, like memory, memory, card, memory card I have in here is like 200 plus dollars. Couple extra batteries. Couple extra batteries, 65, close to $7,000 setup here. We have the Sony A7S Mark II with a Metabones adapter. And the adapter essentially allows you to use Canon mount lenses. So I can use the same lenses I'm using on my Canon on my Sony. So I have a Sigma 35 millimeter, which is a go-to, the Sigma Art Lens 1.4 aperture. You can see like how beat up this is. You can see, see that? Like we beat 
our equipment to the ground, but that means that we get really good use out of it. We've got a Sigma 24 millimeter, and Javon's got the Sigma 50 millimeter, which is another amazing lens. Uh, it's in his car right now. And he also has our lav mic. So that's the mic that you hook up here on your shirt, you run the wire down, and it's really like a more like, kind of like documentary style. Now this guy is probably my favorite pickup of this entire year. This is a Canon 2.8 70 to 200 millimeter, and this is a beast. This is my favorite lens to shoot photos with for portraits and Alphalete. Uh, I do most of the photos in Alphalete, so I use that Canon 5D Mark IV with this, or I typically use like a 35 or one of my Sigma lenses uh, with the lower aperture. We have a 24 to 70 2.8 for the Canon. 16 to 35, this is like the one that I just retired this morning, so this is the four stop. I got a lot of use out of this one. Next, we've got the Canon 100 millimeter uh, macro lens. So for really, really close up shots, like detail shots, like if we're trying to get the grasshopper in the gym, that type of thing. Uh, for the A7S, I typically use the 16-35 Zeiss lens. You guys see a lot of bloggers use this. Amazing, amazing lens, great at focusing, great if you're on the go, and you don't have to worry about like manually focusing anything. It's just a great autofocus. Go Why ahead. is this your main camera and not that? Okay, so the Canon is my main camera for a few reasons. This camera, you can make you can make the footage on this look absolutely insane. The Canon doesn't record 1080, 120. This one does. But, here's my main things. One, everyone uses this. No one uses that Canon 5D Mark IV. And the, I think the colors on the Canon look amazing. So the color out of this camera, it, it's more warm, it's more welcoming looking versus the Sony, in my opinion. Number three, the battery life. I can use one battery on the Canon 5D Mark IV all day for my video. I don't have to worry about it. I charge up in the morning, take one battery, and I'm good to go. The A7S, I would run through about three batteries a day, and it's a pain keeping all that charged. It's just another thing to worry about. Number four, like I said, I do all the photos for Athlete, primary, or pretty much all the photos. I'm always taking photos, so that is the best camera for photos on the market right now. This. You're what, eight or 12 maybe? 12, 12 it's like a phone. Photos. It's like yeah. an iPhone. Here, uh, memory card holder. So I have a ton of memory cards that I use. We go through these a lot. I got my GoPro for action shots and go shot. The, the Pro, this is the Pro. Pro. So this one has the screen over here. It's where you don't have to hook your phone up. It's just a super bright uh, screen, which is amazing. Also, before I got that Pro, I had the Mavic, and my, the camera broke the gimbal in the Caymans when I went, and so I'm waiting on DJI to help me with that. I tried reaching out, but I don't have to reach out again. But this is a really nice pack in your backpack. Got a ton of batteries for it, remote for it, and I got my Gorilla Pod. Oh, next big piece, I forgot. One, this hard drive, what's the brand? The Lace, Lacey, mm -hmm. Lacey hard drive, awesome. And it's USB-C because? Because I have the new laptop. And this laptop, it's a pain in the ass because the dongles with the USB-C, you have to have these adapters, which I've already lost twice um, in the USB one. But this is decked out, guys. I spent, I custom ordered this one because, for example, uh, one full video of footage, so like I usually get 45 minutes to an hour of footage on that Canon. If I record that in 4K, you're looking at like 100 gigs of footage. And to to put that on a, a computer that's not fully equipped is going to be a pain in the ass. So here I've got two terabytes of storage. I have the fastest processor. It's like every single spec you can get I have on this laptop because this is my, like this is, I don't edit on a desktop. I literally use this every single day to get a video up every single day. And yeah, again, I just want to reiterate, this isn't like a bragging anything. Th these are the things that we use. Like you can see all this stuff, like we really beat the crap out of our, um, obviously I do, I'm not gonna include this in the sum that we give you, but uh, hiring video guys, hiring Javon, hiring Kelvin, um, it, it all adds up, but I think that investing into yourself and your channel and everything, like his, I feel, I feel like that has taken this channel so far and it's caused us to raise the bar and I think that we, we just wanna continue pushing and pushing and pushing. So, this is everything. I'm gonna add this up real quick and give you a rough sum. So here we are. We're looking at about $36,000. Now, Kelvin has another, this exact setup, which I got for him, his laptop, which is the company laptop. This, this is his, he's coming, or he's gonna get this pretty soon, the Phantom 4, not the Pro, but the Phantom 4. All in all, guys, we're over $40,000 for sure. Um, I would say closer to 45,000 once you look at all the extra batteries, the packs, the all these wires and 
all that stuff that we go through, but YouTube and content creating, that is a profession, so that's what I invest in. You invest in yourself and you see the return, and I'm a true believer in that. If you are a guitarist, you invest in equipment. If you are an artist, you invest in brushes and paints and, and canvases and things. You, you do things to take you closer to being the best that you can be, right? And so, this is my stuff. If I would recommend one camera to you guys other than a iPhone or something like that that's super easy, I would say go with the Sony RX100 Mark V. This is an, is an incredible overall camera. Slow-mo, 4K, the battery sucks, but just buy like five batteries and just rotate between that. You can record in, in picture profiles and log on this, and it's insane. So that would be it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. I know some of you guys are curious about this stuff, so I just wanted to show you. We'll see you tomorrow.